So we have Chicago to pull from as a resource. Um, and that's one of the highlights of Chicago. You have the MCA, you have the Art Institute. I mean, there's no end to the institutions, the studios, and the collectors. Well, in the last four years, Art Chicago really rose from the ashes to a certain extent. Um, in 2006, uh, Chris Kennedy and the Merchandise Mart rescued it. Art Chicago has redefined itself uh, in a new marketplace where in the 80s the world divided between two art fairs, Art Chicago and Basel in Switzerland. Now there are probably 10 or 12 art fairs of, of the sort of stature of Chicago. But the marketing of this exhibition uh, is, since Chris Kennedy has taken it over, uh, has been extraordinary. Over the 14 or 15 years I built a terrific client base here. Chicagoans and Midwesterners are very passionate collectors. They come back every year, year in and year out. They remember what I had hanging the year before. They remember what I had hanging five years ago. And they are coming back for more. The challenge in recent times has been to attract and uh, cultivate younger collectors. And that's something that a fair like this is an important component. In. We begin our outreach to museum professionals, collectors, and institutions immediately after each year's fair. And that database is really the core of who we want to see attend our fairs. I bought pieces for my house. I love the pieces from uh, Doug Dawson. I've got to go see him. So this is just one of the best things in the city. It gets better every year. You want to ask me about my time? I think what makes this a little bit different is that in one building there's also there's the antique show and then there's the next show which kind of makes a place for almost anybody to find anything. 